Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's Marvin speaking. I've just got a private message, uh, which is very, very interesting. I've been over it a few times um, as well. So this is interesting. This person goes on to say, hi, Marvin. Hope you and your friend are both doing OK. We are well, thank you. Just been looking um, through the Nobles video and the NRG itinerary. I am sure some of the DJ group are shown in a Coles strip video and have been cross-referencing this. I think they are wearing different clothing to the videos of the Sunday night when they are performing in Papagayos. I have always suspected something happened Friday or Saturday. Looking at the NRG itinerary, it seems that the Hard Rock pool party was Saturday afternoon. Um, yes, it was. Um, I've confirmed that on numerous occasions and, I, and I've got um, all that information in front of me. That may seem the last definite date we have a clearer proof of life. I note that the Hard Rock seems quite close to where Tom, Tom Hilton was reportedly staying in the hotel. Uh, hotel best, but don't know if that is of any relevance well it is because he said he wasn't there technically and that he was on a, um, somewhere else so if we have any definite videos of jay there and it if so could be from friday it looks like the papagayo area bars would be passed if they had planned to go to xanadu from the hard rock so could have called in there and route before and something happened that's interesting that is very interesting. They've could have gone there first. Very interesting. That's a very, very good point. And yeah, because it would have been open and it, it, it is said by youngsters as the place to be. Many have mentioned to me that they do like, um, prefer that place, uh, Papa Girl. I know the, the NLG was at Xanadu, but that's very, very interesting. So I'm not sure if we have any definite videos of Jay there, and if so, it could be from Friday. It looks like Papa Gayo's area bars would be passed. They have planned to go to Xanadu from Hard Rock and could have called into there on road before and something happened uh, if he was still okay after the Hard Rock, perhaps. Good point. Having children of a similar age, I have never been able to believe that a young lad would keep wearing the same clothes for um for their first holiday i don't think i don't think he wore the gray green on an earlier night and i likely had the white top on saturday and maybe to represent the sunday previous pictures of, of somebody else wearing similar clothing has been used to cause confusion in dates this is what i'm thinking and this is what 11 11 true crime was on about brandon was wearing a plain black shirt uh when jay wore that uh, gray green top so not the same day. Hope that makes sense. I'm not sure if it is any help, but it seems uh, to clarify if the dates really could help. Another um, random thing. Did you see Tails, Tails latest Chris um, T video? He says he spoke to Jay. I have seen a vote of Chris uh, with a man who appears in a video in a club close to Jay. Very strange indeed. I wonder if he was at one of the events too and met Jay. Wow interesting really really good analysis there and really respect that information um as well so what i'm going to do people i will put this message up at the end of the video so this is part two people so this person says hi marvin took a look at these pictures take a look at these pictures very interesting all taken the same night all same pictures. That is definitely 100% Tom Hilton on the top balcony. Also definitely looks like black traffic. I've not seen these photos before, people. So that's the first one. Um, so basically, supposedly saying that's black traffic. And this is, looks like the guy who threw sand in the crowd.
interested because obviously this person had really been focusing on um, who was who um, as well. So basically this person's saying that is, excuse me, um, black traffic, obviously in the black top. Which is very, very interesting. Um, Tom Hilton, and that was taken basically on the um, the upstairs area. Very, very interesting. And that's the same photo of Tom upstairs uh, with another guy as well on the sort of like the um, upstairs balcony bit. And this was a guy Sorry, just bear with me one second. Seems to be chucking something and was caught by security because you look at the security, look at him, you know, what the hell you're doing. I don't know what the second name is, but it says, look, um, black, black traffic, J, and it looks like Joss. Oh, Joss Clayton, I think that is, but um, I presume it's, it could be Joss Clayton. So let me know what you think, people, because, you know, I've never seen these voters before since I've been on the Jay Slater case. But thank you very much for the person who sent them in. Um, appreciate that. Thank you. So this is the message, people, um, from the first topic of conversation uh, about Jay. And it's, I honestly do think is that people are being, uh, you know, technically sort of passed off sometimes um, as in, um, at the end of the day. And like I said, I don't think Jay was about on Sunday. I really, really, really don't. But I think this message is important because the way this guy has put it together, um, I'm thinking the same. And now it's a massive conversation now. Um, why are people trying to mix the days up? Very, very important, I think. So have a good look at that um, at the end of the day because it does make sense in what he's actually getting at. Let me know what you think, people. Thank you.